Hey guys, what's up? It's I Can Fly Jake, and today I'm here to talk about the new update to Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, at least on the test server, and what will be coming to the full game, of course, eventually one day. And I believe that'll be coming um, with, of course, in the PC 1.0 update, which is scheduled for December 20th, which, wow, have they um, delivered what they promised. I mean, they said this game would be coming out into the 1.0 version um, within a year after release, which I believe the game came out um, as an release in early access, and it came out, I believe, in late March or early April, somewhere around there. Um, and look at this, we're getting 1.0 before, you know, before it's even been a year, and I mean, I, I believe it's ready for 1.0. I mean, you might have your own opinions, and if you do, make sure to leave those in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys get a chance to go out and test these on the test server because the frames are just, I, I get like probably 20 to 30% better frames, maybe less than that, maybe more than that, depending on your system. Um, of course, there's vaulting, which is pretty dang smooth. I mean, I've, I've experienced very few bugs with vaulting. There are some vehicle bugs I've noticed, but I mean, you know, it's like I said, you know, it's, we're not in full release yet, so they can, they can still use the early access excuse. But overall, this new map just feels overall very, very nice. I've played about an hour's worth of gameplay on it. Um, just before, I thought I'd make this, I thought I'd play at least an hour's worth before I made the video, just so I could kind of give my overall review, and through this video, actually, you might want to stick around and watch the whole video, because this was actually my very first game on the map, I'll actually include a very crappy picture from my phone, showing that I have a 100% win rate, and that's not because I just win every game, or I'm hacking, <laughs> it's because I've only played one time, I played one time on the map, um, when this picture was taken, and got the first game, got a first game win with, uh, you know, quite a few kills. So you guys will have fun watching that gameplay, or I hope, I hope you do at least. Um, so yeah, I got pretty lucky in my first game here. And, I mean, I may be biased because, you know, I won my first game, but overall I am loving the map. Um, they just, they said when they made the map that it was going to be a lot, there's going to be big changes in how your playstyle has to be. And I'm going to go ahead and continue with one, some of those playstyle changes and talk about those right right away um and then but if you guys want to just go ahead and skip about two or three minutes ahead in the video that's what i'm going to go ahead and start talking about the details of the new update like the three new guns new vehicles and some of the damage revolving around that anyways so the playstyle changes i mean there's just way less cover when you're out in the open so personally i think there's more like bigger there's more cities with more loot i mean honestly that's what it feels like i mean i landed in this fairly large city right here by myself um no one guy landed with me and i i looked for him quite a bit at the beginning, beginning there we traded a few shots but it just wasn't worth watching each other and, and decided actually t i went ahead and decided to move on through the map um and start looting found some pretty good loot um as you can see there i got the win win 94 i believe it's called with it shoots the 45 acp ammo very cool gun don't know how good it is yet but it's a very cool gun nonetheless um, and playstyle changes, I mean, you just have to be more aware that you can be spotted any time by a sniper who's, you know, just sitting on the top of some sand dune or desert hill watching for, you know, guys without a vehicle to come running across the Badlands. Um, I say Badlands, I don't, I don't really know what to consider these, but to me it kind of looks like, like the western Badlands maybe, I don't know, it's, it's deserty, you know what I'm saying. Um, and it's just really cool, I think having a vehicle is even more important than ever um, as you try to traverse across this open landscape. I mean, it, on the other hand though, there is a lot of hills and stuff and you can actually be, you know, you can be smart if you're on top of a hill to be looking across and, you know, if, let's say you're up on that hill, um, you know, you can see hills off in the distance and stuff. Those hills, like, you know, if you're on top of them, the only place you can get spotted if somebody looks up or sees you from another hill at an equal height. So stuff like that is just really cool to see that um, there's just all these new play styles. I mean, really, it's going to be, or not all these new play styles, but just you got to be self-conscious about how you're um, changing. You can't just play like you did on the old map. I say old map, you know, the other map. I don't want to refer to it as old, you know. Um, but anyways, so let's go ahead and get into the details of some of the new stuff that comes along with this update slash the new map, which is classified and called Miramar, I believe, if I'm pronouncing that right, and if I haven't already said it yet. If I'm saying it wrong, feel free to correct me, as you guys always do. <laughs> um, so that's that. Anyway, so some of the new stuff. The map Miramar has way less water going on, although there is actually a new vehicle um, in the water, you know, roaming the water. <laughs> that we can decide to ride whenever you want, if you happen to find one. We'll talk about that in a minute. And this new map only has two types of weather so far, and that is clear and, <laughs> I'm not even joking, clear and sunny weather. I believe I read that right. If not, I will correct it myself in editing. But I don't really get the difference between clear and sunny weather. Um, yeah, maybe it's the only, maybe that's only, maybe there's only one type of weather, which is clear and sunny. But the way they worded it, it sounds like there's two types, clear and sunny. Don't really know the difference. I hope I'm not sounding like an idiot and I find out I was wrong about that. But like I said, I'll correct it if I am. Moving on, there are three new guns that come along with the release of this map. Those three guns are the R45, the Win 94, and the Sawed-Off Shotgun. Um, two of those are actually 
secondary rifles, or not rifles, secondary guns. By secondary guns, that means they go in your third slot. So that's where normally pistols go, but actually we do have a shotgun now that can go into your third slot. So, and it's a sawed-off shotgun, and I actually think this is like a really good idea because personally I never use that third gun, but if let's say you use all the ammo in your, in your assault rifle and your other gun's a sniper and all of a sudden some guy's rushing you, there's a good chance I might want to switch real quick to that sawed-off shotgun. And it actually shoots it shoots less powerful rounds than the other shotguns. Well, it's it's also 12 gauge, but it it also can fire faster. So you can you know spam those double shots real quick, and you can put somebody down real fast if you land both your shots, uh, or even just one. As you can see later in this video, I actually take a guy out with the sawed-off shotgun, and he dies pretty quick. In fact, I think I missed the first shot, and the second one took him from I believe 100 health to zero. There's no way of knowing what his health was before, but I assume he had full health. Anyways, um, the other gun, like I said, is the R45, which uses 45 ACP ammo, um, and it's a six-shot revolver that can have a red dot attached to it. Um, I believe it does a little bit less damage than the other revolver, um, and a side note on that, the other revolver will not be spawning on Miramar. It's only this revolver, which I'm all down for that. This this revolver takes way less time to reload. Um, I think it's, I don't know, it just looks better all around to me. I think it looks cooler. I think it sounds cooler. Just a really cool gun all around, um, and I like it a lot. You guys should try it for sure. The other new gun is the Win 94, which also takes 45 ACP ammo. It's a lever action rifle that can take no attachments, um, which is interesting because, I mean, it makes sense. It's like an old style Western, you know, redneck. I don't say redneck, but, you know, like a Western style old time rifle. Um, pretty cool rifle. Looks to be fairly powerful according to the patch notes, and it sounds pretty powerful as you saw in the beginning of the video. I did shoot that guy with it. I wish I, I wish I could have asked the guy how much it hurt him, but we don't really know. Um, but yeah, those are the three new guns, and I think they're pretty dang cool. There's also three new vehicles, which are the pickup truck, van, and it's called the Aqua Rail or Aqua I, I, I think it's called Aqua Rail. I don't know why. It's basically a sea doo um, or a jet ski, depending on where you're at in the world and what you call those. Um, they're pretty cool. I've ridden a few in real life, actually, and they're pretty fun to ride. Um, they're fairly agile in real life, and apparently they're a lot more agile than the boat. Um, and so, that's that. I mean, there's not much more to say about the aqua rail. Um, there's the pick and illness. Okay, it holds two people, and the passenger can shoot from the back seat. Or the, yeah, back seat, I guess you could say. There's the pickup truck as well, which has four seats, two in the front and two in the back. So you can have two people riding in the bed, which, while they're fairly exposed to getting shot, it's also very easy to shoot from it. So... I don't know, it's a double-edged sword, um, win-win, or no, it's like a, you know, yeah, double-edged sword, it's a perfect way to say it. It's a pretty cool truck, um, it's fairly slow, but it's very good off-road, of course, it is a truck, and I believe it's like, it's got a lift kit on it, so, um, it's supposed to show you that, you know, you can go off-road, bounce around quite a bit, and hopefully not flip over as much, or at least be able to drive safer and take less damage. The other new vehicle is the van, which has six seats, which is quite interesting because I don't know if that's meant for custom matches, so if you have, like, teams of six, I, I don't really know what the point of that is. I feel like we'll hear more about that in the future, considering I believe squads can only have four people. So I'm pretty interested to see what the idea is with the six-person van. Uh, maybe you can carry around two enemies with you. I don't know. But that's that with the van. I mean, I, I didn't get to drive the van um, or the aqua rail, but I drove the truck. I saw somebody driving the van, and I've got a little bit of footage of that in the video if you see that. Um... And it looks to be pretty, I mean, it looks to be pretty cool. I can't imagine the van working too well off-road. In fact, that's probably the worst vehicle off-road. But it's probably fairly quick and fairly protective. So that is neat, and I'm excited to try all these new vehicles, and you should be too. Some other little changes are the fact that um, no other vehicles will be spawning in Miramar. Um, besides these three new ones and the buggy and the motorcycle. So, no Dacia and no uh, UAZ. Those will not be spawning. Um, and, actually, you know, I'm not sure if the full-on, like, the big boat will be spawning or not. I didn't actually catch in, happen to catch that, so if, you, so if you feel like leaving a comment, make sure to do that. Um, it'll be interesting. There's a lot less water on this map. There are a few islands, and I'm very interested, you know, boat to those. There's so much to explore in this world. Um, so many little compounds with... You know, new buildings and such, which is so cool because a lot of people were afraid, including myself, that when they made a new map, they would just copy over textures and assets from the old game, which, of course, they took a lot of textures. But, I mean, they redesigned, I mean, I believe so far all the buildings. Like, even sheds look different. Some don't have doors. Some have doors. They're just, like, there's new warehouses. There's new, I mean, just everything looks new. They're all new textures. Even the new, even the two vehicles that come from the old game, which is the motorcycle and the, um, what was it, the dirt bike, both have new textures. Or, no, not motorcycle and dirt bike. The motorcycle and the bike. They have new textures. They have new um, camos to them. I don't know if it's to be just look cool or if to actually look like blending in more. I'm not too sure. But all this is just so cool to see and looks so fun to try. So 
If you guys haven't tried the new update, make sure to go update to the test servers and give yourself a try. Let me know what you guys think. Personally, I'm super excited for this to get pushed to stable so I can start racking that rank up um, and just getting more content out for you guys. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe for more PUBG content. I do a lot of PUBG and DayZ, um, but I've been playing more PUBG, you know, on, on my own time currently. Um, and that's that. So thanks for watching. Make sure to drop a like, drop a subscribe, and let me know what you think about this map. And I hope to see all of you in my next video.